we wake Hear the birds and see the sun All right, so I'm at the Piazza Venezia right now, as you can see. I also met a friend from Australia. Say hello to Josh. Hey, guys. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to continue our route through Rome and uh, hope to see some more of these uh, amazing sights. Let's go. All right, I relaxed for a bit and now I'm going out for the final time to have some dinner here in Rome. Yes, all right, yours truly has arrived at his Airbnb in Tuscany, not Florence. I am going to Florence tomorrow, it's really close by, but I'm staying in Tuscany in a town called Carmignano, and this is my view. Pretty insane, if you ask me. <laughs> the house is from the 16th century. At the time, a really rich Fiorenzian, I don't know how to say it, family lived here. And uh, yeah, now I live here. It's funny how life can uh, play out like that. Anyways, I'm going to hit the town of Carmignano, get something to eat, then just walk around, probably, until I have no legs left anymore. I'm in the garden right now. Really cute little garden. Probably gonna have some breakfast here tomorrow. It's so breathtakingly beautiful, it's ridiculous. I brought my glasses because I was told I could see the dome from uh, Florence from here. Is that it? I don't, I'm, I'm not really sure. Let me, let me try to uh, show it to you. Let me know if you could see it. So yeah, I'm going to uh, explore the countryside, I think. Tomorrow is Florence, so uh, basically tonight, this evening, is my only chance to explore the Tuscany countryside. I heard they had great meat here. I might get myself a steak or something. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, All right, on my way back to my house. Just had some incredible beef stew. Tuscany is really known for their uh, meat. I can see why. Really good. Had an amazing day. I'm gonna have myself a chill evening, watch some football, go to bed early because tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I am doing a free walking tour in Florence. Really looking forward to that one. See you tomorrow morning in Florence. Till then. Let's see ya. Get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the all right, good morning guys. I am off to Florence today. I got my bus ticket and I'm waiting here in Carmignano at the bus stop. And the bus will arrive in uh, 10 minutes, hopefully. With my luck, you never know when the bus arrives. Florence is gonna be amazing. I've seen it from the distance, but now I'm going to see it up close. See you there. So I took a local bus from the little town square all the way to the big city. Welcome to Florence. When I arrived in Florence, I had about two hours until my tour started, so I decided to go see the touristy areas first before it got too busy there. The starting point of the tour was the Palazzo Vecchio, the former city hall, but also the former house of the most important family Florence has ever had, the Medici family. Michelangelo is uh, one of the most famous uh, uh, pop figure in art, but the people understood in a second. They saw that statue and every morning they used to see real heads of real people. Our second stop was the Old Bridge, or Ponte Vecchio, a real eye-catcher here in Florence. Next stop was the Uffizi Museum, that is Cosimo de' Medici you see there. 
He was the head of the Medici family for a long time and he's a really common sight here in Florence. And the last stop was at the Palazzo Pitti, another place that at some point belonged to the Medici. From there I continued on my own. I got myself some gelato and made my way back to the Uffizi Museum where I wasn't allowed to film, but I did it anyway. In the museum, I ran into a girl from the tour. This is Ying. She lives in Geneva, where she works for the UN. The museum offered a ton of great works from many renowned artists, so me and Ying had a wonderful time just wandering through. To end our museum tour off, me and Ying got a photo in front of the David statue and then both went our own ways again. I had one last place in mind which would make a perfect end to a perfect day. Piazzale Michelangelo, Michelangelo Square place you need to go to to get the best view on Florence. And that was my day of exploring Florence. All right, I made it back to uh, the Airbnb in Carmignano. Had a great trip today. Saw a lot of Florence, way more than I uh, expected to see. Had a great day and uh, now I'm going to uh, enjoy my pizza that I got somewhere in uh, Carmignano, in the city center, well, <laughs> village center. Tomorrow we're off to Venice, which is going to be really cool as well. I'm just getting the tourist cities uh, out the way first and after that I'll come back and explore the underrated cities. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye. The next morning I headed back to also see inside the Palazzo Vecchio, but most importantly to catch my train to another legendary Italian city. Welcome to Venice. Yeah.